Hey beauties, if you want to go from this to this, please continue watching. Okay, so first you'll need something for your edges, a comb, a comb with small teeth, a brush to detangle your ponytail, a scrunchie of course, make that double if you can, for extra strength, edge control, I got this from my local beauty supply store. It's the best. And it's actually, it actually says for professional salon use only. Brushes, of course, bobby pins, small rubber bands, and your ponytail. Now, this ponytail was actually a wig. Um, I made a U-part wig and I feel like it worked better than just a bundle of hair. So, um, I'm gonna get into that but make sure you detangle it. This was under $20, so it's not gonna be the best, but it works. Okay, so here I'm just detangling the hair, brushing it out. This wig was 36 inches and I cut it down because it was just way too long and it's under $20 so the ends were getting <laughs> pretty raggedy so I cut them off. I sold three wig clips in because, you know, it's a U-Pot wig so I needed that leave out out. Okay, you're also gonna need some edge wax and wine, of course. <laughs> Can't do anything without wine. The edge wax keeps it smooth. It's gonna smooth it a little, help the edge control, control. <laughs> so now we're just combing it up. Just to give an idea of where you want your ponytail and I'm gonna put one of those little rubber bands on there just to hold it up so I can put my edge control on my edges yep this doesn't have to be perfect at all just just up to put the edge control on Okay, first you want to take your edge wax. This stuff is kind of hard, so you want to put it in your hands and warm it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and start slicking and sleeking that ponytail up. Okay, here you see me just smoothing it up, getting those lumps and clumps out, brushing them out. Now you wanna take your 24 hour edge control, or whatever edge control you have, um, I, I love this edge control. It's, to me, it's quite expensive, but it's worth it. Um, I got it from my local beauty supply store. It literally lasts 24 hours. So I'm just taking some of that and putting it on my edges, a good amount on the tip of my fingers and putting it around my whole head on my edges. Now you want to take your small tooth comb and comb all of it up, smoothing it out once again, making sure you work that edge control through, because we want to slick and sleek ponytail, so, at this time, you can take your baby hairs down, I didn't do it until the end, but, you know, I kind of recommend you do it before you put your ponytail holder in. 
So here you see me just still smoothing it up, combing it up, making sure it's tight. Because we want to secure that ponytail. Now I'm taking my brush, still making sure that ponytail is smooth and sleek. Nobody wants a lumpy, bumpy ponytail, unless you're doing it intentionally. You want it smooth, a nice smooth finish. So brush it up. Smooth. Now you're going to take that ponytail holder. I recommend that it's one of the large ones, or if it is the small ones, make it a double just to secure and have your ponytail really tight not headache tight but you know tight enough just going to double it as many times take it around your hair as many times as you can and then pull and squeeze and tighten even more Since now that we have our real ponytail in, we're going to brush that, smooth it out one last time. All the way around. Now I'm going to take some more edge control, a 24 hour edge control. Take my small tooth comb and bring my baby hairs down. Now, I recommend that you do this before you put the ponytail holder in because it's kind of going to make it a little hard trying to get your baby hairs down, I guess. Before you put the edge control in, kind of swoop them down already, but I'm just hard at it, so. Just making my life more difficult than it is. I'm just swooping and swooping. However you like your baby hair to go, I'm not saying do it like mine, just however your baby hair likes to go, do it that way. Now I'm going to take my toothbrush that I have for my edges and just smooth one last time <laughs> for any like nooks, crannies, knots, bumps, lumps, just moving everything out. Um, this, the bristles on a toothbrush works better than a regular hairbrush because they're smaller, so it really like gets in there.
Okay, so now we have our ponytail nice and smoothed out. And we are ready to put our bun in. Now, make sure you have small rubber bands. Because we don't, we already going to be putting bobby pins in. And we don't want, like, so many bobby pins in our hair. Just giving us a headache and poking us in our scalp. So the way I like to do this little bun is I just wrap my ponytail around and I put that rubber band on there. That does not have to be neat at all. Now I'm going to take my wig, aka ponytail, and I'm going to use that first middle clip and kind of like comb that under. Yep, just like that. Then I'm going to take that second clip from each side, e either side, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to take a bobby pin. And right next to the clip, I'm going to stick that bobby pin. To secure it even more. Because these wig clips are not going to stay clipped. And the ponytail, so I put a bobby pin just for extra security. And that goes for the other side as well. Take that other clip, twist it around, get another bobby pin, and secure the pony. Okay. And now with that we're going to take some hair from the back of the ponytail for extra security and also to cover up that those clips and just the top just to make it look more realistic and it's just look nicer go and brush that out detangle that i told you this hair is under twenty dollars so it's not the best I'm just going to wrap it, making sure I cover anything you don't want to see. Now I'm taking a bobby pin and securing that piece of hair that we just wrapped around. At this point, we have, this is our fourth bobby pin or third bobby pin. I uh, can't take it. <laughs> I really don't want my hair in a lot of bobby pins in my head. They give me a headache. A major headache. Okay, so now it's secure. call this a Barbie ponytail. I got quite a few comments and I look like a Barbie doll so that's what we're gonna call it. A Barbie pony. We didn't even wand it up yet, and it's already looking good. Okay, so now, I actually don't have the wands plugged up, but I just want to let you guys know that you can wand it. At the end of this video, I did wand it, so it's going to look even better than it does right now. But, yeah. A couple wands. Wave it up a little bit more. And there you have it. Barbie pony. I also added some blonde pieces into this wig. It was like a pack of hair that had like one B in it mixed with like a couple blonde pieces. So yeah, just to give it a little oomph. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. 
like and subscribe hit the bell for the next videos and if you guys really like this video let me know in the comments and I'll do more or you know just let me know what else you guys like to see but thank you so much is the Barbie ponytail I'll see you guys next time bye